Uh, our goal is to offer a platform for all ideas. Uh, we want to give everyone in the world a voice to share their, their experiences and ideas. A lot of that is day-to-day is -day things that happen in their lives. Some of it is, is political. Um, and frankly, I think that we've distinguished ourselves as one of the, the companies that um, defends free expression the most. We do have community standards around things that you, you can and cannot say. Um, I, I think you would likely agree with most of them. They, they ban uh, categories of harm, such as uh, promoting terrorist propaganda, uh, child exploitation, incitement of violence, um, some, some more legalistic things like, like intellectual property violations. Um, and they also ban uh, things like hate speech that uh, could lead to dehumanizing people you know, and encouraging I, violence if, down if the road. If I may ask a specific of you, it was reported that uh, Donald Trump Jr. got taken down for a period of time because he put something up on uh, the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine. Now, I wouldn't take it myself, but there still is a debate on whether it is effective either in treating or preventing COVID-19. And I think that this is a legitimate matter of discussion. And it would be up to a patient and their doctor to determine whether hydroxychloroquine was the correct medication, uh, uh, you know, given the circumstances. Now, why did that happen? Congressman, well, first to be clear, I think what you might be referring to happened on, on Twitter. So it's hard for me to speak to that, but I can talk to our policies about this. Um, we do prohibit content that will lead to imminent risk of harm. And stating that uh, there's a proven cure for COVID when there is in fact none, um, might encourage someone to go take something that could have some adverse effects. So we do take that down. We do not prohibit discussion around uh, trials of drugs um, or, or people saying that they, they think that things might work or personal experiences with experimental uh, drugs. But if someone is going to say that, that something is proven um, when in fact it is not, that, that could lead people but Wouldn't um, that be to, up to for somebody on the other side of the issue to say that this is not proven? And, you know, I know as a fact that, you know, for people with certain conditions, it's contraindicated and they shouldn't take it on that. But wouldn't that be up to somebody else, you know, to say, okay, what somebody posted on this really isn't true and here's what the facts are? rather than uh, having uh, a Twitter or a Facebook take it down? Uh, Congressman, in general, I agree with you, and we do not uh, want to become the arbiters of, of truth. Uh, I think that that would be um, a, a bad position for us to be in and, and not, uh, not what we should be doing. But on specific claims, um, if someone is going to go out and say uh, that that hydroxychloroquine is proven to cure COVID when in, in fact um, it has not been proven to cure COVID and, and that that uh, statement could lead people uh, to, to take a drug that, that in some cases, um, some of the data suggests that it might be harmful to people. Um, we think that we should take that down. That could cause imminent risk of harm. Okay,